Hi, I'm Katrina, your Pilates teacher at KN Pilates. Welcome to Get Started with Pilates, your 31 day journey towards a daily Pilates practice. Today is day 20, so let's begin. Come into side lying, find your best setup to go through these exercises so the feet are flexed and slightly in front of you, the pelvis is in neutral, you're leaning out of that waist, the shoulders are stacked and ideally your hand is on your belly button. Yeah, we'll go into our side kicks, you breathe in to prepare, breathe out, float the leg forward, keep the leg hip height. Breathe in to return. Breathe out to lift. Make sure not to lean into the waist. Breathe in to return. Breathe out to lengthen back, hip height. Think about stretching the hip flexors here. Don't think about getting the foot very far. Think much more about stretching the front and that will help balance. And then we do the same thing again. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, float forward. Draw the navel in a little bit more as the leg moves away and a little less as the leg returns. Keep the shoulders stacked and relaxed. They will want to move in opposition of the leg, trying to help to balance. And then just remember to keep the lower leg quite active. Yeah, if you keep that leg switched on, that will also help. One more set. Good. We then go into connecting the dots for one way round and for the other way round. So breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, draw the navel in a bit and go forwards, up, lengthen back. Keep the lower leg really strong. One more. Good. We then reverse the movement, going back, up, and over. Try not to hold your breath. Try to keep the pelvis as still as possible. Good. Take the knee forwards, have a quick stretch. Relax the abs, breathe deeply into your belly. Yeah, so that's what your belly breathing is for. Relaxation, breathing deeply, letting all the tension go. Yeah, Bend both knees, we come into usual variations here. You already know these. So you want to first come into variations three, where you lift, rotate, rotate back and lower. Doing again eight of these. Breathe in and out and in and out. Make sure to find your foot again each time. Yeah. Last two. Breathe in, out, in and out. One more. Fabulous, we'll then go into a clown variation four, again about eight. Breathe in to lift, out, extend. Breathe in and out. Good. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, we're nearly there. <laughs> Seven, last one. And eight. Fabulous. We then prop ourselves up onto our elbow. So we'll go into a side 
bend prep. So I would have my cushion under my elbow. If your elbow is happy without that support, that's fine. You don't need to have that. Um, and you just want to make sure that your shoulder is happy with that. If that's too much pressure on your shoulder, just sit this one out. You can go back into the sideline exercise we've just done. Here we have the pelvis in neutral. Very important not to let the hips just drop back. Again, the feet in line with the tailbone. And you want to have that elbow right underneath the shoulder. Yeah, usually by default, we start with the elbow quite far away but we want to really have the elbow under the shoulder to give that a bit more support. Yeah. So here, keep the shoulders open, the spine nice and tall, so make sure not to round the back. It's all quite common, yeah, we never do anything like this. And then we breathe in to prepare, lift out of that shoulder, and then breathe out, lift the hips away from the floor, keep the knees together. And then with control, lifting out of the shoulder still, relax back down, but keep the hips stacked. Very common that the hips just want to drop back each time. Try to keep them stacked, keep the spine long. Yeah. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, float up. Breathe in as you're there. Breathe out to lower down, lift out of the shoulder, lift, 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 lift to lower. I know, two concepts at the same time. Breathe in. And out. Breathe in here. Out to lower down. One more of these. Make sure not to twist the hip forwards. Yeah. Breathe in. And out to lower down. Good. Then we have the other side. Good. So side kicks here again. Yeah, just about four sets of these. Again, half your hand on your belly button, if possible. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, float forwards. Breathe in, return. Breathe out, float up. Breathe in to lower. Breathe out to lengthen. Remember to stretch the hip flexors, and that will help get the leg behind us with a bit more control. Yeah, so this is where we want to practice our ribcage breathing, that lateral breath. <sighs> Try to relax the shoulder. Also the shoulder you might be leaning on. Yeah, that sometimes takes quite a lot of pressure. We're sort of pushing the head down to help. Very, very normal in the beginning. And then as we get more used to these and a bit stronger, we try not to do that anymore. Yeah. So we then go into connecting the dots, drawing those nice big circles. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, float forwards. Breathe in to come through. And out, draw the navel in on that effort. Yeah. And then a bit less, and then a bit more again. One more. Reverse the movement, so you go back, up, and over. Keep the lower leg really strong. Two more. Good. Last one. Fabulous. Take the knee forward for a quick stretch. Relax the abs, breathe deeply into your belly. Yeah, this is your belly breathing time. Enjoy that. And then bend both knees. Clown variation three to start with. Yeah. So here you want to breathe in and out and in and out. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, remember not to lean into that waist. Yeah. Five. Keep the pelvis really still. Six. Last two. Seven. And eight. Excellent. We then go into a clam variation four. So you lift, extend, bend, and lower. Yeah. That's two. Three. Try to 
relax the shoulders, the jaw, the face. Five. Try to enjoy this. Six. Last two. Seven. And eight. Excellent. We'll come into a side bend prep. Pop yourself up onto your elbow. Again, if you need a cushion, just under your elbow. That's absolutely fine. Good. And then make sure to stack the hips, lengthen the spine. Really important to keep lifting out the shoulders so you're not sort of leaning all your weight just into that space. Yeah. Good. Just a few of these. Yeah. So keeping the pelvis stacked, you breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, lift out the shoulder, draw the navel in, breathe in here, breathe out, lift out the shoulder, slowly lower down, keeping the pelvis stacked here. Remember to have that elbow right underneath your shoulder. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, draw the navel in, lift out of the shoulder. Breathe in here, and then breathe out, lift out the shoulder, and resist lowering the hips back down. Yeah. Good. Last two. One more. Draw the navel in just a little bit. Lift out the shoulder and release. Come into sitting from here. Good. After doing the side bend, perhaps it's quite nice to do the side reach. So you breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, reach over. Breathe in here. Breathe out, release. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, reach over. Breathe in here. Breathe out, release. So then place your right hand behind you, have your left hand on your right knee, lengthen the spine up, and then breathe out, twist to your right, look over your right shoulder, really gently, breathe into your ribcage as you're here, breathe out to unravel, swap the legs over if you are uncross-legged, place your left hand behind your right hand on your Left knee, <laughs> lengthen the spine, twist to your left, look over your left shoulder, draw the navel in a bit. Don't create too much force here, just a little bit of a twist. Breathe into the ribcage. Breathe out to come back. Interlock the fingers, round the back, look at your belly button. Breathe in, stretch up, look up at the ceiling, send the heart forwards. Extend the arms out, draw up the arms, take a nice deep breath in and out and we're done.